Hey guys, what I wanna to do today is a little bit different than my regular woodworking content. What I have here is a 12 volt lead acid battery for my kids' power wheels. It's a 9.6 amp hour battery. And this is my four amp hour battery. This is 18 volts for my regular Ryobi tools. And what I have here is an old Ryobi vacuum that I got off the side of the road. So what I wanna do is say goodbye to this thing cause it's basically dead and I don't feel like buying a new one. And I wanna replace it with this guy. Now, obviously it's gonna be a little bit less runtime, but it is going to be more powerful with that nominal around 20 volts. So I also have here an inline fuse for 20 amps. Hopefully this is enough. If not, I'll have to upgrade the size of the wire and the fuse, but hopefully that's good. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop off this back end, wire up the terminals that are inside for the positive and negative over to the power wheels, and this thing should be rocking by the time we're done. Let's go ahead and Get this guy dissected. It's time for another good idea, bad idea. Good idea. Bad idea. So I've gone ahead and taken this piece apart again, which is gonna hold our battery. And this little contact clip actually had 16 gauge wires attached to it. So that's no good for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and solder on these 12 gauge wires with the 20 amp fuse, and then just the regular wire on the negative. So fuse on the positive, nothing on the negative. I'm gonna wrap these around, solder them, and then we're gonna go ahead and this other end, go and splice it on to this power wheel Jeep, just cut off that connector, and then we can test it out. That's all there is to it. Let's get started. All right, so now we've got this piece all rigged up. The next thing to do is to chop off this plug. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this out of here. This is the little battery lifter holder mechanism as we don't need it anymore and it's kind of in my way. Go ahead and strip both these wires. And we'll get the heat shrink on now before I forget. And we'll just get these out of the way while we figure out how to mount this thing. That's a good location, but how to mount it? I have an idea. Okay, so hole here, hole here. Let's try to uh, just attach this right to the quote unquote frame. That is rock solid. Okay, so I think I'm gonna trim these up actually a little bit more. Strip them off again. And so, the fused is hot. We'll put that to black. And the same thing for the neutral. That's it. Slap the battery in. We'll give her a shot. It 
works. How is it, boys? 